Tonight's trip back down the Pennsylvania road takes us to Luzerne County. Mike Stevens journeyed a decade ago to Laurel Run to meet a man named Ed Kaspriski. According to his sons, Ed passed away on Friday. Tonight, Mike Stevens looks back on Ed's loud passion. Most of us think seriously of trains and the engines that pull them only when stopped at a crossing waiting for one to pass. That's most of us. Ed Kaspersky isn't in that group of casual observers. No, Ed is a collector of a minor but major piece of diesel locomotive equipment, air horns. They line the shelves of his workshop and Laura run each restored to its original level of performance. They were whistles once, and this sign is a throwback to that day. The W still used as a signal for engineers to sound their air horn for a crossing. Ed thinks that one of the sweetest sounds around. Music to his ears, you might say. For you musically inclined, both a C sharp, an E, a G, an A, and a C sharp. See what I mean? Ed knows the notes of a Nathan P5 air horn. The P7 has two more notes added to that, which would be a low A and a high E on a musical scale. Ed's friend and neighbor Jay Babbitts is a collector as well. For me, I'm, I'm preserving history by, uh, by collecting older horns that are no longer manufactured. And, and letting us hear them. Over the hill there, Ed's specially rigged truck playing a chord. E.G., C-sharp, and more. We rode with Jay. Here you can see the hookup that drives the sounds we hear so often we take them for granted. They run back and forth across the country, but we pay them no mind. But now, perhaps we will. Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16 on the Pennsylvania Road in Laurel Run. Ed Kaspersky and other fans of Diesel Horns have a website. It's called dieselairhorns.com. On the site is a loving remembrance of Ed written by his sons, George and Ron. We've linked to it through our website, WNEP.com. And that does it for Newswatch 16 at 6. Up next, World News Tonight.